suggested that Coach Alan Ricardo should do in the previous game. Well, it remains to be seen. It remains to be seen. The uh, ni Kevin Santos might be a momentum builder for him. But again, it's just one field goal. You want a sustained performance para sa kanya. Knowing Coach Allen, he would put the guys that he trusts inside the game. Yung magbibigay sa kanya ng chance na manalo. It was that one field goal and that challenge on the shot of Tony Enot. And there you go, Kevin Santos. Kind of high for that rebound. That's what he needs to do for this team. Kailangan rumibound ni Kevin Santos for them to get a little bit more uh, chances when it comes to scoring. Kasi si Pau Habilionar is now playing as a stretch four. Uh, Dinadevelop na siya ni Coach Allen para pag-move niya sa pros. Mas kumakarga na sa outside shooting niya si Paolo. So, kailangan ngayon kontrol ni Kevin Santos yung rebounding. This right here could be in the trans most potent oh, yan talaga. Yan ang starting best five. five. Wow. Let's see if he's still hot. Missing on his first shot. Drop off. Wilmar Uctana also starting for the first time this season. If I'm not mistaken. Kasi Postana is bakod. So, Wilmar Uctana had some quality minutes in their last game against Perpetual. He's a main rotation guy para nito kay Coach Gerson Cabiltes. Can play four, can play five on a very small lineup. Very potent outside shooter. Ochavo. Connects on that pull-up. Any more gusto ni Kyle Ochavo, single high ball screen. So again, Pao Habilionar, back at it, like he never left. So you were talking about Wilmar Oftana. Uh, he's only started one game okay. so far, Bravo, one of the five games. One, Wilmar Oftana, in wow. his second, two on the generals. He loved the long foul out, so Oftana early in the game. When you're, when you're playing against guys like Pau Habilera, try to get in their head. You just need to play. Play through it. And you expect him to be just like that. And that's his game. Naru niya yun eh. Estrada. Estrada to Santos. Santos! Oh! Loristo meeting him at the top. But yep. you, you like to see an aggressive Santos. And I haven't seen that for the longest time with si Kevin Santos. Just trying to elevate and just ball up high on that. Uh, yung body contact ang tinawagan natin mga referees. Santos sinks the first free throw. It'll be good for him to get going, really. And for Letran to make it to the final four, he must be consistent. Oh, yeah. Kasi pag tinignan mo yung rotation nila on the big guys, silang dalawa ni Kobe Monge. You gotta be tough to the players that are, that ha, that has championship experience. They have been there. And one of the things also that we noticed with regards to the, the rotation of Coach Alan Ricardo, he abandoned the platoon substitution. Na, tapos na yung pasaril, tsaka SBP. Dito, you have to use your best players lalo na pag na na. Estrada. Gets the ball to Habilinar. Estrada loses control. Estrada counter steal. Wow. That's his shot. It's up and down. Wow. Three. Still continuing his sweet shooting. Nung laro pa to sa Mapua, consistent yung outside shot. You love Hurried shot by Kylo Chavo. Hey. EAC caught napping. Hey, wow. Five points. Back-to-back -back baskets, Montesilio with a steal. But amongst the point guards ah, of Letran, I've been outspoken na uh, itong si Montesilio, orzonada ko talaga maglaro to. Very steady. Steady, high percentage player. Won't, uh, won't be too ahead of himself. Nag-execute ng mga patterns. At alam niya kung saan effective yung mga kakampi niya. Now let's go courtside and hear from Yen Supan for a first report in this broadcast. Yen? Anton and Coach Hammer, for today's game, we have three injured players from EAC. Gortiza recently hit his hand and is playing at 80% today. Doromal has a concern with his hamstring and is playing at 
5% today. And Lucero has an unbal Achilles but is playing at 100% today. Despite their injuries, may kita natin silang lahat sa court. The 101% ang puso at isip. We are also missing Monhe and Go who are out sick from Letran. And Delfino who is nursing his knee. For both teams, pressuring defense will be the key. Ngunit, iba ang mga paalala ng mga head coaches sa kanilang mga team. Ang paalala ni Coach Gerson ay anything can happen. And any team can beat the other despite the odds. Para kay Coach Allen, he reminds the Knights to be tough. React faster at dikit ang score among these two. Let's see who exerts more pressure. Back to you, Anton and Coach Hammer. Thank you very much, Yen, for those updates. Mas mabigat yung mga injuries dito sa panic ng EAC. Alam mo, Anton, ako, di ako naniniwala sa ganyan. Pag nakabiis na yun, ready to play yung mga yan. Meanwhile, how about that for a triple? Jello Loristo. EAC forces a turnover. Gurtiza missing his two shots. And five points. Let's see Jello Loristo. Off broken please. Hustle points. Jetro Bakot with that extra possession. Itong si Lucero, okay dito na po yung Gurtiton. Basta makontrol lang niya yung mga extra actions niya. Maano ito eh. Ma-shifty Ken engage the offense pero marami kasi siyang extra extra something something eh pag naglalaro saka veteran na rin to eh kasi if you want if you want a second guard kailangan sila yung mga Montesilio eh steady hindi nagka turnover hindi tumitira ng bad shots yun know, ang galing pumasa ang galing mag sa pick and roll if he just plays in control ang, ang, ang husay nitong batang to so the two players na may iniindang injuries, Gurtiza and Lu Lu Lucero are in for EAC. Pero sabi mo nga, Coach Hammer, if you're in uniform, you're 100%. L lalo na pag ako yung tinanong, papapasta na ginsayo ka, tape it and forget it. Unless na hindi mo kaya bumangon, <laughs> doon ka lang dapat hindi naglalaro. Missing on the first free throw right there. Isang pa-condition ka buong off-season, no? Yung mga aches and pains sa ganyan. Ay mo yung laro yan. Postanis. Gets that one to fall as we see the tape on the hand of King Gurtiza. Nakakorbo lang. Diba? Naglalaro nga tayo para sa ice too big. Kahit nakapaka, pag walang masakit eh, di ba? So, laban yan si King Gortiza. Tsaka, ano yan eh, Lucano yan, laban yan. Tagalawin yun, San Fernando. Lunak is now in. Wahao, wild pass. Di nakita si King Gortiza running up ahead. So, double high play. Screen the screener to for the big guy. Roller popper action. Loristo again. Luciano draws the foul. Ito rin si JC Luciano. Veteran, veteran player na rin siya ng kanilang opponent. And he had a breakout game against San Beda. 4 of 4 from 3-point area. So he was a missing link last game. But right here, he gets two free throws. And that might get him going in this ballgame. And when we come back, he will shoot those two free throws. Don't go away. This is a Medina for the first time. Hala ko short. Hindi derecho yung follow through. Medina. Zone to. Naka 1-3-1 yun na sa Sebastian. Trying to get into their zone of offense. JRU wants to get that shooter loading on the corner. Let's check in with our Mancom representatives. That's Father Vic Calvo, Junior OP of Colegio de San Juan de Letran. Letran with a chance to win back-to-back -back games for the first time in the Alan Ricardo era. Uh huh. We are in that era, no? Ha, 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 ha.
parang ako, it feels like it never changed. <laughs> yeah, as you guys have known each other yeah. since... Uh, Pampers. 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 <laughs> since, since diapers pa kami magkasama nito. Luciano. In and out. Oh, lane violation on that trash board by Aldeo Lacero. Coach Jerson Cabintes, second season at the helm for EAC. Saka nakita natin nag-slow down din ang pace ng letra na. Instead of playing helter-skelter, mas naglalaro sila within their own pace. They, they can see the actions developing. Montesilio. Estrada. Oh, so wow, has been waiting on that corner seemingly forever. Yep. Pero nakikita natin, during uh, this season, as, uh, to see uh, Estrada still be, is still trying to find the groove, kahit na he's one of the top three scorers, pero yung mga reads niya na doon, tsaka he's a high turnover guy, lima kada laro. So, makiklean up pa yan. Oh, Lucero turns another, the ball over there. Another turn over. Dalawa na yan for a back point grip. Santos. He gets it to their point guard, Montesinho. Steady. Luna. Wow. Santos. And it's just too hard to stop Kevin Santos with that size and length. And with that aggression, getting a foul of Jello Loristo, that is the second personal foul of Jello Loristo. Yeah, usually, pag uh, napasahan yung uh, elbow area, you want your big guys to just stay in front, raise their hands. Raise your hand lang. Kasi if you get contact sa ganun, hindi naman tatawagin ng mga referees. Eh. You just wall them up. Kevin Santos, six foot six from Masantol, Pampanga. Mm -hmm. Kababayan ni Lurvin Flores, former Arellano big man. Athlete. Harvey Pagsanghan is in the game for the first time. Let's see if he will come up with a better performance. Santos erases that shot. Oh, this might be the game for Kevin Santos. Santos is awake. He's alive. But can he stay consistent? That's the question. Duna. Santos with the offensive rebound. Oh. Traveling called on Santos. Yep, good call by our officials after that power dribble. Ito muna huli sa taas. Pitura. Hindi pwedeng malambot yung atake pag uh, nandunong ka sa shaded area. This was the offensive rebound. Pagbangga. Oh! Loristo snaps it! EAC catching the Letran defense napping. Of course, Jello Loristo. Very athletic for a big guy. Ngayon, natagdag pa niya outside shot. Do not. Floater in the lane. Yun lang, hindi nahawakan ni Harvey yung bola. Nasabi ni Harvey, relax lang. Execute lang, execute. Four minutes and eight seconds remaining here in the first period. Lucero against Montesinho. Kinal face guarding Guajau. Estrada. Oh, great two-man game. Loristo with a stop, though. Harvey. JC. And that's a foul on Duna. Sinasabi ni Harvey, Teka lang, teka lang. Atake natin kasi nakaka-execute sila. May advantage sila sa execution. Tapos pinupuntahan nila ito si Luciano kasi magaling pumasa on the post. On that snap action, dun sila nakakarapuha ng maraming outside shots. Or the stagger screen. Dun sa may taas, aakyat yung shooter on the other side. Kapinasok na Nico Kinal. Another shooter.
Rushano gets that first free throw to trickle in. Two for two. Parang ay JC Luciano. I am seeing JR Taganas. Yeah, it's hard to miss. He is hard to miss. So, yeah. he is on the EAC side of yep. the tunnel. I also see Maguliano, but why is JR Taganas here? Well, because si GC Shaq is playing for the semi pro team, uh, oh. for the pro team of Coach Gerson Cabiltes. Wala kasi laro si Zaki. Kaya nandiyan si Shaki. Yung anak niya. Ah, uh, yung anak niya. Kakakampi, mga anak si JP Mendoza's son. So, also on that squad. So, si Chico naman nasa the Don Bosque. <laughs> Brother mo na sa <laughs> So the next generation. We are, we are, we are in that ge era na doon. <laughs> Ang uncle na yung sa akin. <laughs> Montesilio. Zoom action. He's been slingshotting that. Ah, in a good, good way of handling it by oh, wow. EAC. Loristo is becoming a force for EAC. Good shot. Kinal. Rebound, Dunak. Montesilio. Good finish by that Montesilio. So again, gam gambling on that sundot with Aldeo Lucero. Think about it, calling his thumbs up play. Dunak. And Coach Jerson Cabildes calls a timeout. His team down by three. The shoot gives it to Montano. To the corner, Guadagna. Fourth to shoot. Guadagna fires a jumper and scores! What clock, Guadagna! Arellano will try once again. Five seconds. Basti Valencia from the tree. No good. There he is. NCAA legend J.R. Bibi Shaq Taganas. Sanay sa ulay red. Sanay sa ulay red. At least di na kasumbrero na EAC. One of the most intelligent players that we've seen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One of the nicest too. I would vote for him as one of the best teammates ever. Yan at si favorite ko si Raymond Magay kasi I spent a lot of time with both guys. Pero tama ka gang ayon, nandiyan siya, naglalaro pa rin. JP Maguliano also there? Yep. Pagsanhan. Siya kaya hindi na ako magtataka if Shaq will be part of the staff ni Coach Jerson moving forward. So he's been with Coach Jerson for the longest time. Alam niya yung mga sistema. Produkto rin niya ni Coach Ato. So talagang matalino and marunong, marunong magturo uh, si Shaq. Pangiti-ngiti lang yan. Laki bagay siguro doon para kay Umpad. Oo oh, naman. Kinal. Pull up. Estrada with the rebound. Estrada. Good screen. Pulls up. Chip Boy. One of the very best in the league at banking that shot off the glass. So again, ito ah, dahil natamaan ng blind screen si Lucero, bumawi siya. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na lumahusa itong guard na ito. Pero yung mga extra, extra motion. Kasi it happens eh. Contact will always happen. Dapat di ka na nagugulat eh. Especially when you're playing Letran. They're, they're a rugged team. And that was a good screen. Bumaba lang si Javillionar. Hindi siya hinabol. Just putting a speed bump. Dahil ang bilis ng arrive niya, tinamaan siya. So, dito may review pa kasi nakita pa swing eh. So, with, with the things that happened over the weekend, magiging mas mahigpit ang tawagan ng ating mga officials. And definitely, they would review that. So, oh. unsportsmanlike foul on uh, Aldeo Lucero. Mag magandang makita natin ulit. 
on uh, that play after the screen kasi it was a side hindi siya blur screen eh huminto lang si Javillionari to be a speed bump side to side contact so nagulat eh nagulat si Lucero so Axel Doromal playing with that strained hamstring Hit up yun. Yeah. Hit up. Have you experienced a strained hamstring? Yep. Oh, I got I got my first strained hamstring when I when I played on that night game. <laughs> and the thing about hamstring uh -huh. injuries it's are a, it's a, a if, if you don't give your body time to rest and recover, you could strain it all over oh, definitely. again. Definitely. Because soft tissue injuries, hindi mo talaga masasabi ni, uh, hindi tulad ng mga ACL tears, there, there's really a timetable for it. Pero soft tissue injuries, mahirap yan. Loristo with the rebound. Jelo Loristo, really doing well in this game. Toroman. Well. Well, oh well. I'm seeing pag nakabihis eh. Pag nakabihis, ready to play yan. Adrenaline pumping right away for Axel Doromal. Zipper screen to Bozzi. Oh, pitch post action. To Zoom. Havilinar. Jim Boy. Has a free three. Havilinar, he's been working on that shot. Oh, Loristo has been all over the place. As a medyo may pagod na rin dito si Jello Loristo kasi extended yung minutes niya. Matatandaan natin, siya yung pinangpalit kay Octana. Luciano. Doromal. Axel on the pull-up. That's going to be EAC basketball. At least that's what the initial call is. There's Axel Doromal, former number two scorer in the NCAA when he was with Arellano two seasons ago. But still trying to find his groove under his new ball club. So uh, I think there's blood dropping from the nose of Deo Huajau here. Inadvertent contact. And he was running to the bench. So this is... Oh. My challenge here to see Coach Allen, and there would be a mandatory substitution because we do see Deo Kwahau on that baseline getting treated. Deo rejoins the huddle. Oh, pero hindi naman. Nakatakbo siya don bago tumulo yung dugo. All right, let's see it right here, Coach. So it's going to be the trend basketball yep, as challenge. their challenge was successful. I don't know if you can't teach height, six foot eight, umpad. Imagine if he's in the gym every day with Baby Shack. Well, number one, you need to get him coordinated. You gotta get him moving better. You know, with uh, template is Cliff Hopia, right? Eh, before uh, and very bagay yung kasi Norman Black in trumo trumo ba o Cliff Hopia. But if you can get rebounds around your area and you can rim protect. Maganda ang uh, kalalabas niya. Good shot by Deo Kuahau. Deo Kuahau. Eight early points here in this game. Harvey Pagtanhan. Oh wow, what a snatchback rebound by Montesilio. Jim Boy. Two-man game. Estrada. Montesilio. Montesilio. Stop it, go! Pursue is steady to Montesilio. Eh. I mean, I think he was supposed to be the backup guard of Titing Manalili. But now, given a bigger opportunity. Kasi, different yung laro nila si Titing mas mabilis. Ito, kaya niyang kontrolin yung opensa. At hindi pa linalabas ni Coach Allen. Babad na babad. Oh! Do not hesitating there. Yeah, that's a travel. Gusto ko sana sabihin, ganito si Coach Allen, one point guard. Parang si Nat? Hindi. Hindi nga. Parang si Lucero, si Coach Allen. 
really ba a really passionate girl when he was still playing. 25.1. That's the time remaining in the first quarter. What a shot maker, yeah. Huh? Shot maker, yeah. James Jumawas is now in. Dimano checks in. So ito ko kwa sila ng uh, stop here. Galoy checks in also for the first time para sa mga letranista. Gurtiza. Toromal. Line drive. Jumawas with the board. Last shot time. Single high ball screen. Oh, flat screen. Stop it, go again. Habilinar at the buzzer. No. No lucky bounce that time for Paolo Habilinar, but the Knights are off to a blazing start as they lead EAC 25 to 15 at the end of one.